Hi sewing friends! I'm Alice Murray. Welcome to my channel Mermaid Designs where every single solitary day we talk sewing. We talk pattern reviews. We talk garments. And we always have, well we don't always have, but for the recent history here we have had different themes. And this week's theme is six spring dresses. And this is the third spring dress I am showing you. I like to call this, because I like to name my clothes, I like to call this my pea picking dress because I can see me picking peas in it. I'll show it to you and then we'll talk. It has big pockets and fit a lot of peas in those. Big skirt, very cool. I am sorry I didn't try it on before I put the pockets on because the pockets, to get to the bottom of the pockets, I have to do that. I would have put them up a little further, but it would have ran into the buttons, so I don't know. I could have moved it up a bit though. So it has a, a button side, the buttonholes and buttons. And these buttons also do up. These ones are just for show. So I styled this like the envelope. It is McCall's 4812. This is a pattern from 1990. And I styled it just like the envelope with a white t-shirt, just a plain white t-shirt underneath that I did not make. I'll just read you what it says on the envelope because I thought it was very interesting. It says, Mrs. Jumper, Jumpsuit, or Romper. Now is that because they can't decide what to call it either? I think so. Um, in Britain they call them pinafores which I love, and I'm just gonna call this a pinafore. It's my pea picking pinafore. Um, it says, Mrs. Easy Fitting Jumper, Jumpsuit or Romper with a deep front U neckline. One moment, please. Left shoulder and side buttons, except this is the right side and buttons. I do get mixed up often. Um, side button openings, drop waist, with or without patch pockets, gathered skirts, and there's a pleat, the very middle. This is gathered, but there's a pleat right in the middle. This, this is going to be a great summer dress. This is just made from... Um, like a plaid cotton that uh, I, when I was shopping my neighbor's stash, uh, she gave me some and it worked perfectly. Yeah, so I think that McCall's 4812, even though this is 31 years ago, I think, I think it'll still work. And in my grateful thread today, I just wanted to say, I don't know if you read sewing magazines. Uh, my dear fella, he, um, he spoils me. You've probably noticed that already. But uh, like if he has an opportunity, he, get, he grabs me a sewing magazine. And um, he got this one for me recently. It's called Sew News. And I haven't seen this one before, but I was very impressed with it. It had lots of different uh, projects in it, uh, recommendations for patterns. Um, it had the cover story is how to add a collar to a uh, wrap top, any wrap top, how to uh, just add a collar to make it look a little more uh, flashy, um, upscale, that's what they called it. And uh, they had articles like this where they show you, this is show up 
how to take a plain sleeve and get make it like a wide sleeve to gather and different uh, different pillow patterns all sorts of different things so it's not a very big magazine but it is chocked full of fun things to do so that's so news recently purchased by my fella this is um spring 2021 so just in case you like reading sewing magazines i thought i'd let you know about that so i hope oh my hair my hair oh my hair <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure some of you feel the same way I do. A year without the hairdresser. A year, more than a year without the hairdresser. But anyways, I hope that you are sewing. Because sewing is so much fun. <laughs>